once the sell signals came into the uh, the Dow, bearish engulfing signal closed below the T line, the stochastics heading down. The assumption is that the downtrend will remain in progress until it comes back and tests the 50-day moving average. The strength of the downtrend and the probability is dramatically improved when we saw the NASDAQ after lots of indecisive trading up here gap down through the T-line. So very simple rule. You stay short until you see a candlestick buy signal and preferably heavily short or convincingly short until you see a candlestick buy signal and a close back up above the T-line. Knowing that the downtrend remains in progress allows us to stay in short positions that had the same scenario where they had sell signals and gap downs like in the uh, airlines. But all we have to do is stay short until we see a buy signal to start covering the short position. Knowing what uh, the individual signals represent, such as a doji, bullish harami, and where in the gold stock in June gold also illustrates that probably the T-line is going to act as a resistance. Coming out of this fry pan bottom, telling us that if they open this positive tomorrow, that our uptrend or J-hook type pattern after the uh, fry pan bottom gives us a classic pattern, meaning this move right here will be the same as this move right here. And because it's coming out of a fry pan bottom, it could be an extensive move again in gold prices to the upside, which now allows us to pinpoint which sectors might act the strongest, such as the gold stocks. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.